Sometimes things go wrong in the kitchen when you have a lot of helpers and well, we had a little uh, incident here. Instead of wasting what we have, we're gonna turn it into something else and we were working on it and then we went, wait, you guys might like to see this. So, well, here's something that went wrong and we're gonna turn it into something, hopefully, yummy and delicious. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a three pound, five ounce loaf of bread. And all I can say is, it is dense. Yeah, Extremely yes. dense. Well, tell them how it got that way. All right, so here's the story, and I know you guys are all dying to know, how did this happen? So the other day, one of the children offered to help me make lunch, and I said, sure, pizza dough. Here's the recipe, go for it. Well, this child came to me and said, something's wrong with it. I've only added not the full amount of flour, and well, come look at it. I went and looked at it and it was crumbly. It looked almost like a pie crust before you add the water. And they had already added a cup of water. They had, they said they added all the other ingredients and they'd only added a cup or two of flour. And my recipe takes three to four cups of flour. And I'm like, hmm. All right, maybe they just maybe they just need to need it a little bit more. So we turned on the we turned on the KitchenAid, we let it knead. And it, it pulled together like dough. It felt very heavy, very, very dense. But I went, okay, we'll see what happens. Left it in the bowl. Well, that, it didn't rise. It didn't do anything. It just sat in the bowl. And I said, did you remember the yeast? Yep, remember the yeast. So I took a pinch off, flattened it, fried it on, the, on a pan, thinking, all right, we can turn it into tortillas or pitas or something. It was so salty. I don't know if the salt got mixed up for the flour but I don't like to throw things out. So I took a bucket, took the dough, added probably a cup or two of water, and for three days, I stirred it every couple hours, got it to mix up, turn liquidy again. Then I added no more salt, flour, some sugar, and some yeast, and it looked great. The loaf of bread was beautiful. I mean, look, it just was lovely. And I thought, okay, we're gonna make sandwiches out of this. We're gonna have BLTs today. That, then we ate it. <laughs> and what was wrong with it? Uh, it was very, very salty. <laughs> and uh, there's something else wrong with it too. I don't know what it was. <laughs> so anyway, I said, this would be, make good Melba toast. So uh, we got out our food slicer and I'm making some nice thin bread. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some seasonings on it. We're going to throw it in the oven and toast this and dry it. And it's going to be Melba toast for salads and snacks. Slices. Okay, I'll move the pan over. So I put this in between uh, you two. There we go. Okay, lay them out on nice thin slices for me. And then we're gonna oh, spread I'm them with Can I do my pan and grease this my pan? And then we'll go ahead and spread these with I some herbed butter. My can I the tag is on the back, not the foot. While the girls are working on that, I'm going to make some herb butter. So I'm just taking my measuring cup can and I have some you guys can you guys can spread the herb butter on in just a minute. I'm gonna use some granulated garlic here, basil, black pepper, a little bit of thyme. We have a little bit of rosemary. To kick it up a little bit, we're gonna put a little bit of cayenne in there, some oregano, and then a little bit of dill weed. I would normally add salt to this, but considering the fact that the bread is already so salty, I'm going to depend on the bread to add that salt factor and then just the herbs and the butter to complement that. We're gonna see if this works or not. Okay, so I have, let's see, about a half cup of melted butter here. I'm hoping that's enough. We will see. When you have little kids helping, sometimes the butter doesn't stretch as much as it <laughs> should. So we're gonna add some, not yet, honey. I'm gonna, we're gonna add some dill. And then Can I help the dad in? we're going to, uh, you know, honey, I don't, I'm not using measurements. I just sort of know by watching. So just watch. And then oregano. We all love the oregano. So go a little heavier on the oregano. Here, you can put the lid on for me. Thank you. And then rosemary is pretty potent. So we don't use too much rosemary. Just, to, just a little bit like that. 
Just enough for a little flavor. All right, cayenne pepper. Don't use much of this. Mm. All the kids will be running. A couple. That's probably good. Okay, we have some time here. I wish I had more time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just a little bit. Okay. That's probably good. Put that over there. And then we need a little bit of black pepper, which I'm almost out of. Uh-oh. I think I might have more upstairs. Go with that. Oh, uh, not yet. Not yet. All right, hang on. Now our garlic powder. Good. Garlic powder. And we all like it really garlicky. So it's going to get a lot of garlic powder. And remember, this is going to be a lot of trays. So if you're thinking the quantity is off a little bit, that's why. And let's see, the last one's going to be basil. Gracie, could you unscrew that for me? Oh, I can. All right, use those muscles. Thank you. All right, here we go. Shake, shake. Uh, let's have to hold it like this. Shake, 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 shake. Wait, 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 wait. Little hands need to wait. Yeah. And this should smell nice and herby. Okay, go ahead. And Can I help mix yep, it? Yep, you'll have a turn in just a minute. Mm -hmm. That looks nice. Can I mix it now? It's like a tornado. Can I mix <laughs> it now? Just wait your turn, please. Uh, but... Hello, Mr. Daniel. Are you eating a banana? No. A banana. Can I have some more? And sometimes you wonder why things happen in the kitchen. Mm, yes, mistakes do happen. We're just trying to recover them into something delicious. No, 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 no more, no more dill there. All right, mommy's gonna put the first one on to show you guys how to do it. Okay, girls, we're gonna lightly spread just a little bit of butter, okay? And see how it's just a little bit of herbs. That will be really good. Nice. So you give it a little stir, spread it, a spring, you know, tap it against the side of your dish, and then just lightly spread it. So we're gonna have Grace do a tray, and Mary's gonna tray, and this then Mary's gonna do a tray. Go ahead. Good job. And you do it again. Give it a little pressure like this. Yeah. See the herbs come off your brush. There you go. And you'll get better the more you do it. Um, yeah, this and then that butter is going to make it taste really good. Yeah. And then it's, we're going to toast it in the oven and it's going to get crunchy. Mommy, I don't you know the only problem? If this turns out really good, we don't know what the recipe is. <laughs> Always uh, plan for these you things, but, a but you're making the best of a bad situation, That's right. which actually turns into a I good mean, situation. Theory, we could have fed the bread to the chickens, but it wasn't totally inedible. It was just saltier than you just want to take a bite out of a sandwich. So we'll just turn it into uh, what you, uh, like, toast. Yeah, a crunchy Mommy. topping for salad. I think that'll be really good. Mommy, can we taste the piece of bread after we're done? When it's toasted? Uh -huh, yeah. After you're done toasting it. There we go. Let's go back to this one. Okay. Forgot some herbies on it. You want to make sure the herbies are all over. That's what's going to make it taste really okay. good. Delicious. And yeah. And quartzy. And if you're not spreading any more herbies, so dip, mix it up because the herbs go down to the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. And then I can do a little yeah. more herbs. That's probably good on that piece. Do a little bit more right here. There you go. That's the way to do it. That was close. Yeah, it was very close. It almost <laughs> took a spill. Okay. Daddy's turn to help with Lily. Yeah. Ooh, look at those good herbs. This is going to taste really good. Yeah. Um, a little too much butter, Daddy. Too much. You might want to scrape out some of it. <laughs> this reminds me of when you used to cook with Charity. Oh, that was a disaster. Wow. <laughs> I remember those hockey puck muffins we made? <laughs> yeah. They were pretty bad. Yeah. Last night was pretty bad, too, because when we look at them. We do have a, a track record of um, some interesting creations yeah. made with the kids. Yesterday, we, were, we made really weird-shaped tortillas. 
You did, but they still like tasted good, ones. even though they were really long and they were misshapen. They still tasted really good. Okay, here we go. Grace finished her tray. I have the oven. Well, it's almost up to 350. I'm going to go ahead and just toss these in. And we're just going to make sure that this doesn't burn. Being that it's so this thin, it probably is more like to burn. So there it goes. It's been a few minutes. I don't want to let this go too long, but it looks and smells really good but it's not golden yet, so I'm gonna give it a little bit longer there. You can put your nose to it. Watch it, it's hot. Okay. Mm, it smells really good. It's not quite golden yet. I'll give it a little bit longer, okay? How's it going, Mary? I, I'm supposed to gonna have enough? 14. I think we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make it work. I looking good. They look really good, Mary. Good job. Okay, the toast is going a little slow. So I just turned it up to 400, and it looks like it's cooking a bit faster. So that might be the magic number. Hot and hot. Oh, yeah. Now it's getting crunchy. Okay, we'll close it up. A few more minutes, and it'll be done. I think these are done. They look like they're getting crunchy. We don't want it to go too far. What do you think? They look uh, good? They look good. Let's see what they taste like. <laughs> They'll probably get crunchier as they cool down. Right. That's usually what happens. Okay. Right, you got another tray, Mary? All done with mine. Excellent. That looks good. Right. Very hot. So we always be very careful. We're always serious in the kitchen. There we go. Yeah. You, uh, you want to try a piece of toast? It's crunchy. It's crunchy. Yeah, I don't know. Can you eat that? Or is it too crunchy? Uh, <laughs> would you like me to break a little piece for you? Okay. All right, let me break a little piece for you. You ready? It's like crackers. That's right. There you go. Is it yummy? Mm -hmm. No, just one at a time, honey. Just one at a time. Well, I think it's met. No, 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 no more. I think it's met Daniel's seal of approval. He wants more than one. Just one at a time. Right? Mm. This is seriously crunchy. And delicious. Mm. Art. What? Art, you gotta try some. Uh, okay. Taste test. Taste testing time. Oh, Crispy and chewy. Good. It's like sourdough chewy. Would you like some, Jen? Oh, you know what? I don't think it tastes too salty now. Mm -mm. It good. Mm -mm. Mm. It's good. Mm-mm. It's crunchy. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Is this Melbourne toast? So, Peter, mm -hmm. we turned awesome. your mistake. Whoops, wait. We're not supposed to identify who the child was. Uh -oh. Oh. Too late. <laughs> we turned your mistake into something absolutely deliciously wonderful. Mm -hmm. I was planning that from the beginning. Uh-huh. <laughs> In all seriousness, we love our children cooking in the kitchen with us. Sometimes you are going to have... Yes, you can have a piece. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get a piece off the tray. Mistakes are going to happen in the kitchen. Things happen like that. It's how we respond as parents to mistakes like this that can actually make things better or worse. In this case, we took the bread. We turned it into something delicious. The kids are... Well, the first tray's almost gone. Yeah. <laughs> Behind the camera, what you guys aren't seeing is they are just munching away. Now, a little fun experiment there. We're not wasting it. We're... I hope you've enjoyed this video. I encourage you, if you have an oops in your kitchen, think creatively, do something fun, laugh about it, learn from it. And you know what? It's something for the memory books. We still just with charity and... Yes, you do. We still jest with Charity about her and Art's cooking, cooking uh, bombs that she's had, and it just it makes memories. So have fun. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you for our next video. Bye.